what I remember about uh, Dad's last game. It's actually the only uh, memory I have at all of any of his sort of career in terms of while he was playing. Um, I remember, you know, being at Lot, we used to go to all the games um, at Leichhardt, but I can remember this one, packed crowd, pouring rain. Um, I remember not watching any of the football because I think they got beat by a thousand. Um, I remember watching Dad line a kick up and spray it. The veteran lining it up and he's a toe poker. <laughs> or will he go around the corner? I think it will be. We haven't seen this for a long, long time. And don't the crowd love it? Don't I love it? Well, <laughs> 15,000 fans here, I believe. And they are all standing. He takes it back. Come he's on, Maddox. He's a study of concentration. Sirenin. You'll hear the roar of the Tigers fans. There. Away. <laughs> he can afford to smile. And then, yeah, just the, you know, bittersweet at the end of the game, you know, they got beat or whatever, but just the respect well, from seeing footage, I don't really remember it, but um, everyone gave him and then getting to go onto the field, win the lap of honour um, after the game. And, you know, there's, we've still got photos around the house and I've got a few saved too of that, of that moment we got to share with him, Bailey and I. Um, yeah, it was pretty special for our family, so it's a strong memory and something that I'll never forget. Always love playing, but you know, you sort of do things like that. It spurs you to want to, you know, just pick up a football and uh, run around and, you know, be like dad. So, um, yeah, it was a good moment in my life. Both my brother and I got to live out um, our boyhood dreams as well, and, and we both got to play for the Tigers as well. I think that's something pretty special to dad. Anyone I would speak to would always have something to say about dad. Um, always good things, um, but I never really knew how to take it. And you know, as I've matured, um, seeing some footage of him play and you know, really sort of learning the sort of player he was as well. Serenade, 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 Serenade. Yes, that's a great run by the big fella. It's, it's a pretty cool sort of thing, you know. He's never one to sort of give um, advice or tell me if I'm doing anything wrong, but um, it's good just to be able to. You know, go back and see what the footy was like back then, and um, yeah, it's it's sort of weird in a way. What you thinking that that's my dad, but that, this is what he sort of used to do as well. But would Curtis Sirenin have liked to have played against Paul Sirenin? I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't think many people would. Apparent from what I've heard, you know, lifting his knee into into defenders and things like that. I don't even think he can. He'd probably be suspended after a year now. <laughs> for, you know, crushing blokes' sternums in half. So. Um, I'm, I'm glad that he had his time back then and it's a different game now because we were different players as well and um, I can do lots of things that he can't, so... Um, but it would be pretty cool, like if you could, I don't know, virtual reality one day, you might be able to do something like that. With